Right, okay, so I've just done a 12 minute Cooper Run test. Um, slightly under my sort of personal best really, which was 3.20, I did 3.7 today, so still very, very, very happy with that. Um, I'm just gonna put myself for a little little nine round hit session really. One of the things I like to work on is one of my frameworks. Um, this one's 30, 15, so 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We just choose three exercises. So today we're gonna be working burpee push-ups into walkthroughs, into push-ups with a shoulder touch. Now, this is very, 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 very upper body uh, demanding but then the burpees really do test your cardio so nine rounds of this 30 on 15 off let's go get it done Okay, so that's the heat session done so far. Now I'm gonna get on and do some bag work. Um, one of the things I really like to work with is the Gym Boss. This is a great little tool, it's a real good way of like, uh, uh, just monitoring my time but without having to look at a clock or what have you. It just works on either the beeps or the vibration sort of side of things. So yeah, again, we're gonna be working 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Uh, straight away all the way through for nine rounds uh, the 15 seconds off is going to be nice and relaxed just moving around the bag the 30 seconds on is going to be a mixture between one session on speed and then 15 seconds will be moving around the bag the next session is going to be 30 seconds of power okay just working like literally straight shots or body shots or what have you so this is a really really good tool to, to use for this kind of system right so let's go we're going to put in some bag work
Right, okay, so that's the 3015 workout done. The beautiful thing about that is that you can take it anywhere. You know, as you've just seen, I've just sort of like started off with a Cooper Run test, which is 12 minutes. Um, and that's a really, really good way of just sort of getting my sort of, uh, my, my, my threshold, my, my maximum oxygen uptake, my ability to transport oxygen around my body up. You know, that's a really good measurable way of me uh, sort of assessing where I'm at. Then I went straight into a body weight workout, which is nine rounds, obviously 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And we literally just kept it burpee push-ups, we went straight into walkthroughs, which is a really good one for the core, and then straight into push-ups with a shoulder touch. So a lot of upper body work, really transferred well into the motocross sort of environment. Um, then we went on to the bag and we did the same sort of thing, we was working between speed and power, and along with just sort of moving around and keeping the hands up. Then I took it onto the floor, the gym floor. This is the beautiful thing about this kind of 3015 is that, you know, it doesn't really give you a lot of time to rest. It's literally, you are dictated by 15 seconds. So you have to go from station to station to station. Today I was working on a decline fly. Then I was holding it in an isometric hold at the bottom. So my isometric, so my literally, my chest was like firing off for 15 seconds and straight into a decline press for 30 seconds. Put those down into a back extension. That's a real, real good way of just literally flushing out the chest. So if you look at it, we've literally ticked every single box there from a training. We did the cardio, we did body weight, we did boxing, and then we also did sort of uh, an upper body, kind of lower back kind of workout on the weights. And this is all with the 30-15 method. So try this one out, guys. Maybe leave a comment in the box below and tell me what you, you applied it to. I'm now gonna roll it out. Okay, so they've done quite a lot of work with this place. They've built it up. You've got massive, massive, almost like mud wall going around the whole thing. That's because there's been a lot of sort of um, complaints from the neighbours trying to shut this place, shut, shut it down, which is a bit unfortunate. But Lee Toland and the guys have really put a lot of money and a lot of work into this. And uh, you'll see this when you see the track. It's an absolute mega, mega track. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day's riding. Weather's a little bit damp, but make some nice ruts. Let's go see how Boston gets on. Very well, sir. Straight.
gone too well actually I literally I put up put the GoPro fusion on the front of the handlebars and uh, yeah we've lost it it's gone so great 600 600 quid worth of camera that's now floating somewhere in Mill Lane so uh, we've lost that anyway but um, never mind the track's good um, Boston's riding good Billy Wilson's here Bill Callum Shaw Huey Briley, so a few of the youth riders are here. I've uh, got Dylan Woodcock here as well, so I can see exactly how he's riding. He's riding very, very good, very, very fast, very, very smooth. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a good day. It's, it's, it's a good day, all bar losing the, uh, the GoPro Fusion. Never mind, the hero, the helmet hero, hasn't let us down. So it's a hot chocolate for me. I'm gonna go spin some more laps. horsepower today from a motorbike to a horse jersey's on max it's quite a good day actually really nice to get out little bugger can actually give it some as well Go, Maxie. 